Hey everybody, Mr. Bells here. Uh, I think there might have been when I had the sub, so this is for anybody if there was a sub this day. Um, I gave you a worksheet that looks like this, and uh, I wasn't here, so I'm going to make sure I go through it uh, so that anybody struggled with it. Uh, here's a quick video, or a, maybe a longer video. This is exactly how to do all this stuff. Okay, so here we go. Uh, so this is on do we understand the unit circle and how all that stuff works, and I gave you a um, copy of the unit circle, or I gave you a video that went with it, but uh, I didn't have uh, anything that went with this shit, so hopefully this will go well. Okay, so uh, the first thing uh, that we're going to talk about is, hey, uh, how do I find the value of 330 degrees? So we know that everything rotates this way, so 330 degrees uh, 90 to 180 to 270 to 330. So we're really dealing with um, a 30 degree angle in this spot. And if you take a look at your unit circle, if you've done this and you know how to uh, get those values, 330 degrees gives me square root of 3 over 2 and negative 1 half. So I just have to put into here square root of 3 over 2 and negative 1 half. Now that comes from a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and again, a 30, 60, 90 triangle has ratios of 2 to 1 to the square root of 3. Now, if it's a unit circle where this is one unit, then this becomes 1, this becomes a half, and this becomes root 3 over 2, or everything gets cut in half because the hypotenuse was cut in half. Now, because it goes down right here, that's a negative 1. So that's why the x value is root 3 over 2, and the y value, because it goes down, is negative 1 half. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, hey, we can use this, because we've done this, to get the values of the other one. So b is negative 120 degrees. So negative 120 degrees is the same thing as 240 degrees, so I got negative 1 half and negative root 3 over 2. So negative 1 half and negative root 3 over 2. C is negative 315 degrees, and negative 315 degrees is the same as 45 degrees. So that's root 2 over 2 for both. Root 2 over 2, root 2 over 2. And D is 150 degrees, and 150 degrees is 5 of these 30 degree angles. And that takes me to a reference angle of a 30, 60, 90 over here. So it's root 3 over 2 and 1 half. Again, if you've done... Uh, all the work on understanding your unit circle, then you can get all of those ones. Okay, so now we're going to look at find the values of these ones. So how do I find the value of sine of 300 degrees? Well, sine is the y value at 300 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and go here. 300 degrees is right here, so that's negative root 3 over 2. Negative root 3 over 2. Tangent is uh, sine over cosine. I'm going to show that to you a couple different ways here. So tangent of 150. So 150 is right here. And I want to know tangent. Um, so that's uh, sine right there, right, over cosine. So 1 half divided by uh, root 3 over 2. So I copy dot flop. And the 2's cancel out, so I have 1 over root 3, which gives me root 3 over 3 when I simplify my radicals. Now I'm going to show you this one uh, with just a reference triangle right now, okay? And see if this helps. So 150 degrees is a 30 degree angle right over here, right? So that's 2, 1, root 3, I can do that like that. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So opposite 1 over adjacent 3. And that's another way that you can get 1 over root 3. And again, we can't leave the radical in the bottom, so we multiply top and bottom by square root of 3. And then 1 times square root of 3 is square root of 3. And square root of 3 times square root of 3 is the square root of 9. And the square root of 9 is, of course, 3. So I've done that. So now I'm going to go tangent of 225. Uh, tangent, again, is uh, sine over cosine. So let me show it to you here. So that's a 45 degree angle right down in here. So I need the opposite side, uh, which is 
uh, on this 1, 1, and root 2, right? 1, 1, and root 2, if I just do that, and I ignore the whole unit circle portion, I'm just given a location for it. So tangent is opposite over adjacent. So this is down, so that's negative 1, that's left, that's negative 1, so the tangent of 225 is negative 1 divided by negative 1, which is, of course, 1. You're like, whoa, that was really kind of crazy. And I go, hey, look, I don't want you to freak out on this, but if we check on our calculators on these last uh, two answers, tan of 150, uh, check our modes first, right? Make sure it's in degrees. So I'm going to do tan of 150, and I hit enter. I get negative 0.577. Um, and, uh, oops, sorry on that one. That's got to have a negative on it because that went to the, the left. <laughs> and then uh, let's try that, negative root 3 over 3. So negative uh, square root of 3 uh, divided by 3. Enter. You can see they're the same things. Uh, my exact answer here and what you got on the calculator here. Uh, this tangent 225 is supposed to be 1, so I hit tan of 225, hit enter, and I do get 1. Um, so again, all of these answers on here we should be able to get uh, without the calculator. Now maybe you went through and you just wrote the values of these things down based on your calculator, and that's fine. And then these ones are going to be the exacts, uh, that's fine too. Um, I tried to, I thought you could get the exacts from this. These ones are going to have some angles that go over 360 degrees, so we're just going to try and find out what it's equivalent to, okay? So cosine of 60 degrees, cosine is the x, so 60 degrees, I come right out here, the x is 1 half, so I put a half, cosine of 60 degrees, I check on my handy dandy calculator, cosine 60, enter, it is a half, that's exactly what we thought it was going to be, yay! Okay, uh, cosine of 315 degrees, 315 degrees, um, 315 degrees is right over here, uh, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so the adjacent on that 45 degree angle uh, <coughs> should be uh, exactly what you see here, cosine 315 uh, root 2 over 2, and root 2 over 2. If I check that on my calculator, dun, 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 second, square root of 2, divided by 2, enter, you can see I get 0 0.707. And if I do cosine of 315, um, oop, hold on. Uh, tch, tch, tch. <sighs> yep, it's still positive. I was just doing a double check on that one. Uh, cosine of 315 degrees. Oh, look, they are the same answers. Okay, sine of a 45 degree angle. Again, you can just draw a 45 degree angle and write 1, 1, and root 2. And sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So that's 1 over root 2, or simplified as root 2 over 2. Or you can look at your handy dandy calculator over here and go 45, sine, y value square root of 2 over 2. I know I'm going a little fast here, but remember, you guys can always pause this video and slow it down to hear whatever you need to hear. Cosine of 210 degrees. I'm going to show you on the calculator first this time. Cosine of 210. Negative 0.8666. And uh, that's, a, that's a decimal. That goes on forever, right? So let's say I want an exact one. Oh, I'm going to do this, so cosine of 210, that's a 30 degree angle right down into here. Cosine is adjacent, uh, remember this is 2, 1, and root 3. Uh, cosine of a 30 degree angle into this quadrant right in here, right? That's 90, 180, 90, 180, 30 degrees in here, 210, so I can use that as my triangle. Uh, <coughs> adjacent over hypotenuse. Now because uh, because it's going to the left, that uh, root 3 is negative. So negative root 3 over 2. So I'm going to check my negative root 3 over 2. Uh, <coughs> negative second square root of 3 divided by 2. And you can see that we get the exact same decimal place. Okay. 
tangent of 180 degrees. So I look on my uh, handy dandy uh, unit circle over here. Remember tangent is sine over cosine, right? Sine is the y. So sine over cosine, zero divided by negative one is zero. So the tangent 180 should be zero. I'm gonna check on my handy dandy calculator and I do tan of 180, enter and I get zero. So what I've just showed you on these ones right here is I got the, uh, the exact values either A by using my unit circle, right? B by drawing out the triangles, or C, in some cases, I can go straight to my calculator. I want you to be able to go uh, through all of those different things. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do these ones. So what I'm going to get you is uh, reference angles for it. So cosine of 480, if I subtract 360 degrees, that's the same as 120 degrees. Sine of negative 120, that's the same as 240. Cosine of 240. Sine of negative 120 would be... Uh, 240 also looks like ooh looks like those were identical um, that wasn't supposed to happen cosine of 1440 so 360 double the 720 720 goes into here so that's the same as cosine of zero degrees tangent of 405 is the same thing as a tangent of 45 degrees cosine of negative 315 is the same as 45 degrees and tangent of negative 210, uh, if I go 210, that's the same as 150 degrees. So because of our reference angles, I don't have to do all these big or negative weird numbers. I can just use the ones that they're equivalent to. Again, cosine um, uh, 240. I, I don't know why I, I didn't do that, but I, that's right in that normal range. Well, let's go ahead and just do that. Okay, so um, here we go. Let's go ahead and use our handy dandy unit circle here. So cosine 480, cosine again is the x. We said we could use 120. 120 is right there. The x is negative 1 half, negative 1 half. Sine of negative 120 is the same as sine of 240. So I go to 240. We go to the sine value and it's negative root 3 over 2. Negative root 3 over 2. That must be the same thing down here, negative root 3 over 2, because it's the exact same question. Cosine of 240 degrees, negative 1 half. Cosine of 1440 is the same thing as cosine of 0 degrees. Cosine of 0 degrees, that's the x value, that's 1, because I do it straight to the right. Tangent 405 is the same as tangent of a 45 degree angle. That's sine over cosine, root three root two over two divided by root two over two is one. Cosine of negative three fifteen is the same as a cosine of forty-five. So I go to forty-five degrees, I say cosine is root two over two. Tangent of negative two hundred and ten degrees is also the tangent of one hundred and fifty degrees. I go to one hundred and fifty degrees and I've got this one right here. Tangent is sine. Uh, divided by cosine, so that's one half divided by root three over two, and um, so there's a negative. There's a negative on that because that's at x. So it should be when I flip that fraction, uh, um, one half divided by negative root three over two, two's cancel, one over negative root three, which is negative root three over three, negative root three over three. Okay, so let's check a few of these ones. Uh, just do a double check on my calculator. Let's do cosine of 480. Cosine of 480. Enter, I get negative a half, and I got negative a half. Sine of negative 120. Sine of negative 120. I hit enter, I get negative 0.866. And I try negative square root 3 divided by 2. And I get negative 0.866. So, so far I'm feeling pretty good about this thing. Let's try a crazy one like cosine 1440. Cosine 1440, enter. Uh, I got one and I got one. So you can check them all out on your calculator. They're all there. So what am I looking for you to do on these ones? So these ones are not normal angles. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a guess without the calculator. So I'm going to use my 
circle right up here, or my circle right here, my unit circle, and try and get a decent understanding of it. So the first one is cosine of 365 degrees. So cosine of 365 degrees would kind of put, oh, let me draw a circle right here. Uh, this is zero degrees, so 365 degrees would be right here. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So the cosine at zero degrees is one. So at five degrees, it's got to be a little bit less than one because it's going to shrink it. So I'm going to say that uh, without my calc, my guess would be around 0.95. I don't think it's very much at all. Okay, so now I'm going to do sine of 247. That's a y value. So I'm going to check something over here. 247 degrees is right around in this area. Y value here. So the y value here was negative root 3 over 2. Um, my lights just went off. Give me just a second. There we go. And uh, negative root 3 over 2. Uh, as you guys know, it changes into that decimal. So I'm going to say uh, this one's maybe, I'm going to go, uh, let's go about negative 0.8. And then last one, tangent of 115. Um, tangent of a 120 degree angle is right here. So 115 is going to be a little bit less than that. And tangent's the opposite side uh, divided by uh, the adjacent side. And again, so let's look at 120 degrees. The tangent of 120 uh, um, degrees. Did I have one of those already written? I didn't have one of those. Well, that's negative root 3 over 3. I'm going to say uh, tangent of 120. Let's, let's actually draw the picture out for you guys. Here we go. Tangent of 115. So here we go. Uh, here's 90 degrees. Here's 180 degrees. 115 degrees is like right in there. Okay. So it's not quite a 2, 1, root 3. It's a little bit smaller than that. So uh, when I say that, this uh, tangent's opposite over adjacent. So it's it's this side's going to get a little bit taller than root 3. And root 3 again on your calculator. Watch. On, uh, square root of 3, 1.73. So I'm going to have something a little bit longer than 1.73 divided by something a little bit less. Then my guess is it's somewhere around 2. I'm going to go 2.05 just to make up some stuff. Okay, so those were my guesses based on locations of the thing. So now let's actually try it with the calculator. See how close I got. So cosine of 365, cosine of 365, I hit enter, and this says 0 0.996, 0 0.996. So not bad. Maybe I could have been a little bit closer than that. Uh, sine of 247, sine of 247, I hit enter. Uh, this says negative 0.92. I said about negative 0.8, so it's not brutal on that, but a little further away than this one. Tangent of 115, uh, tangent of 115, <coughs> it said uh, negative 2.14, and uh, of course I just, uh, I feel really good about my 2.05, but very sloppy in the fact that tangent uh, opposite side is positive, but the adjacent side right down here, that's negative because it goes to the left, so I should have put a negative on that one. Okay, so that's kind of how this thing goes. Uh, there's kind of a little look uh, at this stuff. Hopefully this was beneficial to you. We will talk to you later on... Um